Turns out I was waiting for God. <laughs> I hadn't hit the thingy. The bells will come in a second. Uh, there'll be Cartesian monks praying as usual, day by day. Uh, midnight vigils. I've got Radio 4 on, as usual, trying to keep in touch with the world in which I live. Why won't people hear, listen? Why won't they see? Okay. Now, in Christ's time, there were other sort of prophet types. I mean, obviously, notably John the Baptist. And the Jewish authorities had Christ crucified because they thought he was a sort of radical, difficult element. In the Bible, it speaks of uh, discerning spirits. So, as we all do, within literally moments you meet someone you think eh, or ah that's a nice person literally it happens within the first less than a second you, you sort of see someone you think eh, or, ah. and that's what our human brains are kind of trained to do just through life instinct. You either like the smell of them or, or you don't, obviously. I mean, there are just, definitely just some, here we go, the bells, they're calling them to midnight vigils. They really do do this. They're Carthusian monks in France, à la grande chatreuse, moi je parle français couramment parce que j'ai vécu en France. So I am the speaking the French man, because I lived there, and they'll be praying now, this midnight vigils. <coughs> In Latin and French, so I speak French too, so... I'm sitting here in England um, on the 2nd now of February. I am a person who pronounces both R's in the word in a correct manner. February. February, not February. Yeah, who cares? Now, prayer is very powerful. But the fact is, there are people all around the world now praying, as Christians, praying. And the world's still a mess. So it doesn't sort of wave a magic wand and fix everything, obviously. Just at the moment, we've got Myanmar, uh, Burma kicking off. I didn't really know, but I looked them up. There are 54 plus million human beings in what used to be called Burma, Myanmar. And the military has just taken over. 
there's Russia. Apparently they've got 11 time zones. So it's so big. And the current leader is a despot. He's a vicious former KGB man. And the people are fed up with it. So that's another one that's stewing away. The former first minister of America is due for his second impeachment trial, for heaven's sake. I have no time whatsoever for, I'm British, for, for the Prime Minister of Britain. I mean, the chap's been shagging some bird in number 10 Downing Street. <laughs> I mean, there's a sprog uh, born out of wedlock and he's got a wife and four children with that woman of 25 years. And one or two other enamorata, possibly other children knocking about. Well, what sort of a moral authority has that man got? Now, judge not lest you be judged. I agree. If anyone's ever watched any of my films, you know, I'm not a perfect person whatsoever. But, I aspire to perfection. And the perfection is to love God through Christ. That's it. We fall short. We're human beings. make the attempt to aspire to the perfection of Christ is the right and proper way to live each day. So I'm in a new day, bang, yesterday's gone, it's now the 2nd of February. <laughs> My dear old dad was, uh, I think his family being involved in the law and one has to be accurate in what one says. You know, it's words, 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 but pronounce them correctly. <laughs> I know I'm far from perfection. I am a man of 64 years old, I am a Christian, and this light of Christ shining in the dark world is so important. Without it, I mean, we really and truly are lost. I was speaking to someone earlier yesterday, uh, and he just banged in the question. I mean, we were talking about this and that, but he's sort of quite spiritual too and you know what about eternal life well i mean well, i was talking about something else but bang i've got to answer that well of course there's eternal life it is god's covenant with us god's promise deeper promise covenant is a deeper word that if we love god through christ then we will all join together at the end times with God and the angels and all that. <laughs> okay. Well, so I believe in it. I mean, obviously, I must be <clears throat> off my rocker, I suppose, to believe in such nonsense. It isn't nonsense. I believe in it. I haven't got to the age of 64 by accident. I am here, physically, in a nice, warm, dry little flat in England. Uh, I 
I am a Christian. And I can't fix the whole world. I've tried in my little way here and there. And absolutely, I do not think I've done enough. So I must try harder. I'm blessed with my faith. I am a Christian. And I long to do something with my faith in this world. And the only way I can do something is with people, through people. I mean, there are getting on for 8,000 million human beings now in this world. Well, why? In Christ's time, I mean, I don't know what the figure was. I, just, I think it might have been about 200 million. The whole world's population in Christ's time. Well, every single human being is precious and special in God's eyes. How he organizes all of this, I have no idea. Because he loves us all. God loves every single human being. I have no doubt about this. I'm absolutely sure. He loves us all. And he wants us to love him. That's the thing. Through Christ. Not any other gods. That is... the way it is. God wants us to love him through Christ. 